Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. While there are plenty of video editors blazing away on high-end computers and producing videos at lightning speed, there are many people trying to edit their videos on an old laptop that has no business running something like Premiere Pro. So you may not have the hardware to run Premiere Pro in its ideal state, but there are a lot of things you can do to make your experience better, and that's what we're talking about today. If this video is helpful to you, make sure to hit that like button to see more. General tips. There are a lot of general things you can do to make your experience in Premiere Pro or really any sort of intensive program much better. Firstly, close any background applications and processes that don't need to be running. This includes browser tabs, software like virus scanners and chat applications, and really anything that doesn't contribute to your editing project. This will reserve as much CPU and RAM as possible for your video editor. If you're using a laptop, make sure that your device is plugged in so that it doesn't go into a high efficiency mode that uses less power. Also make sure to check your power plan to make sure that it's on high performance mode, rather than any sort of balanced or power saver mode. You can usually access this by finding the battery symbol on your taskbar or icon tray and clicking on it, then easily adjusting the power plan. Turning on a high performance power plan will make your hardware run at its best, while using more power in the process, which shouldn't be an issue if it's plugged in. Lower Playback Resolution The first thing you can do is lower the playback resolution of your video previews. The lower the resolution, the better of an experience you'll have when playing your timeline. You'll find this control directly under your program monitor. You can potentially go all the way down to 1 8th or 1 16th resolution, however, you can also proxy your video files. Proxies It can take a lot of resources to play back high resolution footage on your timeline, and proxies are lower resolution files that take their place. You don't need a super high resolution while editing in a small preview monitor or on a small computer screen like on a laptop. Creating proxies is pretty simple and a great solution. With your project open, click on File, then Project Settings, then Ingest Settings. Check the Ingest box and select Create Proxies from the drop-down menu. You can then select the quality and types of file you'd like from the presets. Now any footage that you import will be turned into a lower resolution proxy version. This won't apply to other footage that you've already imported. You will have to spend some time waiting for your computer to render the proxies, but then you can go to the next step. Next, go to your project window and look for Toggle Proxies on the row of buttons under the preview. If you don't see it, click on the plus sign to expand the button list. Toggling the Proxies button will easily turn on and off proxies. Just toggle the Proxies button to go back and forth. While your proxies are active, you should have much smoother playback on low-end systems, which will let you have a more accurate view of your edit. Just go back to normal footage before you render out your project. FX Mute FX Mute is a toggle that can turn on and off your intensive effects. Even a simple cross-dissolve can cause problems for you on a low-end system. This toggle can also be found in the buttons bar mentioned before. Once you have it available, just click the toggle. This will play back your timeline more smoothly. Usually you don't need to see an effect rendered live unless you're directly editing it, and with effects off you can easily jump around your project and start making more rough cuts. Move the media cache. When you import media into Premiere Pro, it processes these files in a place called the media cache. By default, this will be on your primary drive that has your operating system on it and Adobe installed on it, but if you can, you should change your media cache to a different, faster drive. Many editors have a fast solid state drive specifically for media cache files. If you're on a low end system, then you might not have this option though. In general, if you do have multiple drives on your computer, make sure your media cache is on the fastest drive and not on the same drive as your operating system if possible. To change this location, go to Edit, Preferences, then Media Cache. Then you can browse a new location for your media cache files. Disable unused clips. When a video clip covers another clip, that hidden clip still needs to be rendered and processed during a preview. You don't need to delete the clips, and you probably do want to keep them around anyways. So instead of just deleting them, you can right click on the clip and uncheck Enable. You can re-enable it just as easily, and in the meantime that clip won't take up any system resources despite still being on your timeline. Use Adjustment Layers This is useful advice for editing in general, but it's also a great way to make a sluggish timeline faster. Adjustment layers are layers that go above your clips to hold a wide variety of effects. This is where many editors will put their color grade, for example. Color grading can be applied to footage directly in exactly the same way, but the upside of having an adjustment layer is that you can easily toggle it on and off. 
It takes resources to apply a color grade to footage, and when previewing your footage you might not need to see the grade applied every time. Toggle off the layer or disable the layer to save on resources, then turn it back on for your final review and render. Hopefully this video has helped you understand how to run Premiere Pro better on a low-end computer. The software is made for usage on high-end systems, but that doesn't mean you should let it discourage you from learning how to edit on something more modest. Let us know in the comments if any of these tips helped, and what your tips are for getting your video editing software to perform better on your system. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.